Hello my blend fellows, it's me again, Ari Hendarno. Today we're going to talk about the concept of relation between angles at the circumference and at the center of a circle. How do they relate to each other? Let us discuss here. I have made a circle on a piece of paper here. Di sini saya sudah membuat sebuah lingkaran di atas sebuah kertas. Hubungan yang akan kita cari adalah bagaimanakah hubungan antara sudut keliling lingkaran yang memiliki busur yang sama dengan sudut pusat lingkaran. Jadi contohnya seperti ini. Kita buat sudut We are going to find the relation between the circumference angle and the central angle that both face the same arc. Here's the example. We make a circumference angle. Just make it. You can use any angle. This is the circumference angle. Nah, ini merupakan sudut keliling lingkaran. Lalu kita buat sudut pusatnya yang menghadap busur yang sama. Jadi busur dari sudut lingkarannya. Then we draw the central angle, which faces the same arc. This is the arc of the angles. We draw a line from the center of the circle. Setelah itu, kita akan bisa mengukur ukuran sudut yang ada di keliling lingkaran ini dengan sudut yang ada di pusat lingkaran. Kita After that, we will measure the angle at the circumference and the angle at the center of the circle using a protractor. Look at the measurement numbers. We can start measuring from zero. Use approximate number because the line is quite bold. You can see the angle is approximately 63 degrees. So it is 63 degree angle. And we also measure the one right here. It is approximately 126 degrees. Juga setelah diukur ukurannya kira-kira 120 6 derajat Ternyata So we found a relation between the central angle and the circumference angle A circumference angle subtend by the same arc as the central angle measures half of the central angle So if the central angle is 126 degrees the circumference angle is 63 degrees That is what we will familiarize the blind students with how would we make it? Use the teaching aids and materials that we need to prepare beforehand. Bagaimana cara membuatnya? Menggunakan alat dan bahan yang harus kita persiapkan sebelumnya tentunya. Ayo kita coba. Let's try. We prepare a piece of cardstock paper already cut into a circle, like the one we discussed before. Use any size as you wish. Then we will need something to make the string. I'm using some kokoru paper. This is a tactile paper piece that the blind students can touch and feel distinctly. Kertas kokoru ini kertasnya timbul, jadi dapat diraba. Siswa tunanetra bisa merabanya secara jelas dan terasa. It is advisable to use contrasting colors. Why? Because it would help the low vision students see the object clearly. Karena ini dapat memudahkan siswa atau sahabat kita dengan keterbatasan penglihatan low vision dapat lebih jelas melihatnya. Besides that, we also prepare a protractor perforated on each of its angle numbers. Untuk setiap sudut titik-titiknya Dan ini we can make it at home. It is a custom protractor. Punch a hole on each of its numbers. Do the same with the ruler. Begitupun dengan penggaris. Penggarisnya. It is a regular ruler sold at the market. We can punch some holes here or mark its numbers with tactile dots so the students can touch them. We can also use another type of material, like some pieces of string, to draw the line. 
it's optional. You can use the strings. Choose the ones with contrasting colors. All right. So, how do we implement this? Lalu bagaimana implementasinya? Jadi yang pertama So, first prepare the circle, then draw the line like this using the kokoru paper. Cut them with scissors. Garisnya dibuat dari kokoru yang sudah kita siapkan, kita bisa potong dengan gunting. Sebaiknya garis yang dibuat tidak terlalu tebal karena Don't make it too wide because it will be difficult to measure. Divide the kokoru paper into two. Yep. I cut them into narrower pieces. You can cut them into the size as desired. First, make the central angle. Well, it is fine if you want to make the circumference angle first. But here I do the central angle first. Use the same length as the model. After you made the right length, apply some glue, trim it, and do the same for the other leg of angle. More or less like this. Kita potong dan lakukan hal yang sama untuk kaki sudut lainnya. After that, we make the circumference angle, like this, which faces the same arc, facing the same arc. Cut it first. Yang menghadap busur yang sama. Menghadap busur yang sama. Kita potong dulu. Sebaiknya menggunakan warna lain agar... It is better to use another color, so that our fellow low vision students can see it clearly. Cut it according to its size. Do the same for the other leg of the circumference angle. Make sure that the line is straight, cut as measured. After the glue dries up, we can ask the blind student to touch the entire part first for orientation. Setelah kering, kita bisa meminta siswa tunanetra untuk menyentuh semua bagiannya dulu. So, first we ask the blind student to touch the outer line. What shape is this? Yes, correct. It is a circle. Meraba area kelilingnya. Bentuk apakah ini? Ya, benar, lingkaran. Lalu then we also start asking the blind student to touch the central angle. Meraba dari from the left to the center and from the right to the center both legs meet at the center after they learn oh this is the central angle we can ask them to do the same with the circumference angle starting from the end of the left leg to the angle and from the other leg to the angle after that we can ask them to measure the angles formed by the circumference angle and central angle of the circle, both facing the same arc. Setelah itu, kita bisa meminta mereka untuk mengukur sudut yang terbentuk dari dua buah sudut tadi, sudut keliling lingkaran dan juga sudut pusat lingkaran dengan busur yang sama. Ask them to measure them. We can help showing how to measure. After measuring, they will start identifying the numbers. 10, 20, 30, 40. We've got 43 here. They may touch 50, but it is between 40 and 50. It could be 43 or 45. Let's say it is 45. We can write it down 45 and ask student to write the values on the paper using braille, but I'm writing it here, 45 degrees. 
for the central angle start from 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 90 they will touch the paper at 90 means we've got the angle of 90 degrees after that we ask the blind students to conclude if there is any relation between the circumference angle and the central angle that both face the same arc yes they will find that the values of the circumference angle and the central angle that both face the same arc are related where the degree of the circumference angle is half of the central angle in other words, they can say that the central angle degree is twice the circumference angle. Simple, isn't it? Let us try. Thank you.